Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Now first off, I just want us to talk about um, if you're watching this video, you're probably one of two types of people. Now if you're the first type of person, you might not know what a suicide bunker is and I'm going to teach you what they are, how they work and you're going to learn something pretty cool in my opinion. Um, secondly, if you're the other type of person, then you might fall under the category of a suicide bunker hater. These type of people... Um, they don't like suicide bunkers because they're inconvenient and you have to re kill yourself basically to transfer loot in and out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to explain to you new people that don't know what they are and some of the haters that maybe, just maybe that the haters might be doing something a little bit wrong. Because I've just got off the back of a um, Zerg where we used a one by one suicide bunker for the TC. And it worked really good. No one had no problems with it whatsoever. So, because of this, I've made this video. And firstly, what we're going to address straight away is the fact that you do not need to respawn all the time. And secondly, you don't have um, a timer all the time that people think that you do have when you have a suicide bunker. Okay. So, what I'll do is, um, I'll come down to these five designs in a minute and show you what they are, but I'm just going to quickly address the fact about why some people don't like suicide bunkers and why they might be doing it wrong. Okay, so if I come down to this suicide bunker here, um, this is the bog standard one by one using um, drop boxes in and out. So if I just go inside here a second... And I'll put a bag down. There we go. I'm going to put a bag down in here. And your TC would be in here, obviously, as well. But So there we go. So what people hate the most is the fact that you have to F1 kill to get inside your suicide bunker, put the loot in, and then whenever you want loot, you've got to then spawn in here and then put the loot in the drop box to get back out or large box, whatever you use. Now that's kind of wrong. So what you want to be doing when you have a suicide bunker is think of it as um, offline storage and potentially put your boom in there as well or whatever. So you can go in there mid what like when you're online if there's something you need, but it's stuff that you don't need all the time. So as for the, if I find one with a large box, let's use this one. Okay, this is probably a better better explanation so what I would do if I had this is I'm about to get offline for the night okay so I would then grab everything and fill this box with lots of stuff as much as I want to keep offline okay then I F1 kill and I spawn in here and then I would grab all that stuff okay and I would fill all the boxes therefore my loot when I go offline is if potentially if this is a HQM one by one is now the safest that it can be in my base and it will be stashed in here then what I do is I log off and go offline for the night and then I come on the next day if I haven't been raided I come on and then what you want to do is everything that was in that box when you logged off just grab it all and put it back in that box and then therefore when you F1 kill you F1 kill and spawn back outside of the suicide bunker. You have no bag timer because it's been the whole night. So you've got no bag timer. You spawn outside. And everything that you put away for the night is now in this box. Granted, it's not safe, but you're online. Do you know what I mean? If you started getting online raided, you could quickly spawn back in this and quickly then transfer it into the thing. So I just wanted to get that clear. Next up, what I'm going to quickly just show you about is if you do have to go into your suicide bunker while you're online, how to avoid the bag timer. So, if you put a bag in your suicide bunker, which you have to do, um, the quickest solution that I found, and I've done this um, on the Zerg um, wipe that I've just got off the back of, was that all you need to do is have an outside bunker. Uh, sleeping bag outside your base which most people tend to do anyway because it's a really good idea but you've just got to make sure it's a certain distance away and the easiest way I found is count 10 Mississippi's okay so all I do is I just walk this way so I go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so somewhere around here, I mean, obviously I want to hide it a little bit, so I don't know, I just, just 
dump it anywhere, okay? So I've counted ten. So now I've counted this ten. Well, you're supposed to count Mrs. Zippelies. I obviously didn't just then. Um, basically means that if I ever do got to go in here midwipe, I can F1 kill, go in here, do what i got to do, pass stuff out or pass stuff in, whichever you want to do, and then you just quickly spawn on this bag over here because it won't have a timer because it's out of range, and then you've just got a 10-second walk back to your base. You haven't got 300 seconds or whatever it is on the bag timer. And then you're you're just straight back in your base. So, just wanted to clear that up because that is whenever I speak to someone that doesn't like suicide bunkers, that is their main problems, and I just wanted to address them quickly. So, what we're going to get onto now is I'm just going to show you some suicide bunkers that I've designed. Um, one of the ones that was current meta that people used. And I've got one off a friend of mine, which I think is the best one to use at the minute, but it's probably the most likely one to get patched soon. Okay, so first off, I'm going to rip the roof off this just to show you um, ease of use. So as you can see here, this one here just has a box um, poking out the wall. I've poked that out quite far. Um, you can make that uh, protrude less from the wall if you want to. But I've just done that. So the way this was the current meta of an um, one by one suicide bunker. And what it was is you had your transfer loot box, which is this one here. Then you had three large boxes of storage, one sleeping bag, and your TC. And obviously, like uh, I'll mention it again, if this is HQM, it's 15 rockets, guys. Granted, people can break your transfer loot box, but don't ever worry about that. If that happens, you've got a trip to outpost or and uh, get your drop box if you don't have the drop box BP already. Okay, next up, what we've got here, we've got a redesign of the current meta which I made myself, and I'll show you how this one works. Okay, so it looks like you need a bit more floor plan for this one, obviously because we need um, this. I mean, it can probably be removed now, but I've left it there to show you what you need to actually build it so you've got exactly the same again you've got one transfer loot box but if you look inside it's slightly different now I used to be able to make this top section with three large and and you still can you still can um, and then down here you've got two large so what I done when I redesigned this is I made it so we had the transfer box and four large boxes of storage um, at the moment, I'm finding it since the um, new build update to get the, the four, three larges up here um, due to this transfer box. So I've gone with two small now because of ease of use, but you still can get four large boxes in here if you're really good at placing boxes. Anyway, let's move on from that. So um, what I've done by doing this design is I've actually increased the amount of storage you have in the one by one. And I've also removed the fact that you don't need a blueprint or have to find the item of the salvage shelves. And if um, you watch one of my videos as well, it actually shows you how to make a starter base and then make the suicide bunker in a safe environment. Because that's another problem people have with suicide bunkers is the fact that they it's a bit risky actually starting off the build. But um, what I'm going to do for every one of these suicide bunkers, I'm not actually going to build them in this video, but for each one, I will link a video and a timestamp on them to show you how to build each suicide bunker. Okay, so this was my one bag um, with four large boxes in the suicide bunker. Moving on to the next one, it's very similar. But if you notice, the transfer box is poking out a lot more out of the suicide bunker. And there's a reason for this. The reason is we now have two sleeping bags inside. So this this is a game changer, personally. And it was um, a friend of mine, another YouTuber called Mako, where I first seen two bags in the suicide bunker. Now, I have to credit that because as soon as I seen that, I thought that's a game changer because now you've got two people in your group. I mean, if you're a duo, that means both, both of you have full access to the suicide bunker, whether the other one's offline. Um, or if you're in a group, just be having two of your most online players have access to the Suicide Bunker, it does make all the difference, guys. So, personally, I think this is the way to go. So, what I've done here is you've got your transfer box, and then I worked out you have about, I think it's 
large boxes of storage. So you've got five small boxes and four barbecues, um, and you've got your two sleeping bags. So in my opinion, this is probably the best way to go. Um, then moving on to this one. Now this one is totally different. So what we've got here is, I've left the twig on there as well just to show you a little something. As you can see in here, we've got two large at the top. We come down here, we've got one bag, and then we've got one large and two small there. So we've got the standard like three and a half, roughly large boxes of loot storage. But this one here, we've got this extra barbecue, okay? And you can see how it's placed. And what you do is you just open the barbecue through the wall, okay? So it has, that barbecue has to be placed before the wall's up. It has to be placed in a special position. And the person that showed me this was my friend, old FKN, FKR, absolute legend, knows so much, up and coming. Um, check his, check, definitely check him out, guys, because he teaches me so much stuff. And um, we actually used this method in my last wipe I played with my Zerg, with my um, Discord members, and it worked absolutely brilliant. Granted, you, there's not a lot of storage, um, so if you were like a solo or something, and you wanted to fill a whole large box worth of loot before you get offline. It's not that good for that because you can't fill a whole large box up. Um, but when we were on as the Zerg, um, it worked perfectly fine. You, I could fill it up, spawn in there, and then if I needed more stuff when I was in there, I would just ask someone and they would just pass it through for me. And it, it worked an absolute treat. So credit to that one because everyone thought that this method was patched, but it's obviously not. So I will put a link to a video and how to make that one as well. And then last but not least, this is just the bog standard Dropbox method. So you just put stuff in the Dropbox and submit it. And then you can access that when you come inside you can grab all that stuff. Same for when you want to pass stuff out. You deposit stuff in there and then you grab it when you're out. Now, bearing in mind that these Dropboxes are important it's always nice to have that BP if you've got it and if you've got a suicide bunker because if you get partially raided and they raid all your base apart from your suicide bunker and all your best loot you might end up having to place these on the wall so bear that in mind guys because it, it's either remove a wall and do the barbecue remove lots of walls uh, to try and get a large box back in there or the easiest option is then just put these um, drop boxes on the walls okay guys so um, I hope this has helped some people because I know um, a lot of people don't like suicide bunkers I think they're brilliant personally um, the value for money you could call it what you're getting for that protection if you make it HQM the raid cost is insane guys and then you can build your base off it I've also got some bases coming up um, soon some starter bases that might have Suicide Bunkers in for Solos Duos coming up soon, so keep an eye out for them. And yes, just let me know in the comments if you like Suicide Bunkers or not. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.